Leo. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Leo Love Tarot reading. Leo Love reading, and as is very often the case here at the Tarot Closet, Leo Love Messages reading. Leo, this is a timeless reading meant for you when you get here. This is a faded connection. So you are here, oh, you're here when you're ready to be here. So welcome. I'm really glad you found your way here. We're going to get right into your love reading today, but before we do, I just wanna mention that down below in the description, you'll find all the decks that are coming in today. You will also find all the playlists, all zodiac signs, messages from your person, all signs, love tarot readings. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth, Twin Flame readings below, feel free to explore down there in the description box if you're inspired to do so. Please remember this is a general reading, so take what is for you and let the rest go. And before we begin your reading today, I would like to take this time to invite you to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This really helps the channel to continue to grow so that I can continue to bring your readings. So thank you very much for the support. I really do appreciate it. Let's see what's going on in your reading today. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Oh, it's the justice card in the upright. It's the son of cups. Okay, so this is the knight of cups in reverse energy. It's the Prince, Prince, Charming card coming here in reverse. We also see the Justice card. Of course, this is Libra energy. It's Major Arcana. Yeah, okay. So you can see that also in the Fool card. This is Aquarius energy and Uranus energy. So interesting. Somebody here, your person. This is where their energy is the strongest, Leo. Your specific person, someone you're here for today, maybe even someone who's coming up for you. They're coming in here with the truth. This is Libra energy, of course. It's also Venus. It's a major arcana. You see the yin and yang energy there too. Divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Somebody's balancing theirs out. I'll tell you that. It's not about gender because it's time to make this decision. This is Libra energy. This is the moon and Libra energy. And that's also communicating in a new way and opening up here. You can see that that's what they're doing. This is transactional energy, it's clarity, it's justice, it's the truth. About what? Well, in the partnership placement, we see the Knight of Cups in reverse. So this is somebody who has broken some promises. It's a hot and cold energy. It's somebody who was maybe like saying this, saying that, coming in, coming out, or it just simply was not following through because we, we see that also in the Fool in reverse. So this is a carelessness in this connection. A careless, carelessness, excuse me, also well with emotions, with your heart. Look at this wand here in reverse. It's kind of like you're both here. Look, looking over here, <laughs> looking down at the full card in reverse because this is also somebody that you're, well, this is either no contact, no communication, and or in separation. So what is that for you? But we see here, this is in reverse here. So somebody was careless. They weren't really thinking about what, what they were saying, what they were doing. Yeah, it's the 10 of wands in reverse. So it's enough now. Jupiter and Sagittarius energy, and it's, well, it's lightening up here. It's time to come with the truth. Yes, they know that. It's the Sun of wands. This is the Knight of wands, and now it's in the upright here with the Son of Cups in reverse. And this is the confidence here to come with the truth. So there, this is somebody who's coming to be honest with you, Leo. Is it somebody in your life now? Somebody you're disconnected with? Because what are they being honest about? This is, it's like a sparkler look and it's a cobra. It's energetic movement. It's wrapped around the wand. It's the energy of love, which is connected also here with kind of like this sparkler. It's, it's some... It's a Mace of Swords energy, interestingly enough, today for me. And this is that energy of coming here and talking about this Fool in Reverse, the Uranus energy that changed everything. So this is the hero's journey, and it's in reverse here. So there was, yeah, a lot of stuff that was promised. 
Maybe we're looking at the Ace of Cups here. And also look, the Knight of Cups. So this is the promise, these are the promises here that were to come when the fool was in the upright. This hope, taking the chance, the new beginning, what they were offering. That Son of Cups, the Prince, Prince Charming card. What was it? Marriage proposals, moving in, dating. What exactly was that? Because this is, the, this is well, yeah, breaking some promises, not following through. They're aware of that. Look, it's really clear and they're coming here to own it and come here with the truth of that. What else is coming through? Yeah, okay, that is just it's not surprising because this connection needs to be healed. Look at this. There's, I don't feel that either of you have really let each other go. It's the Four of Pentacles in the upper right. It's the Sun in Capricorn. So they also are trying to untangle this. And for some of you, they're, well, it's here. There is an element of kind of somebody who wanted, what more did they want? Why was this person going back on some promises here? Well, they're here, I feel, but there might be, there's like a greedy energy, okay? And you can see here that they were hot and cold or, or were not following through. The tower card is in reverse with the full in reverse. So that's telling us here a lot of different things. Of course, it's the major arcana that they were afraid of change. What were they afraid of? So they weren't being honest with you. Was it about going to another level here? Is that what they were afraid of? Because it really put the queen of cups in reverse here. I mean, look, it's the swan again with her wings open, wanting here, this is what's necessary. The Queen of Cups is reaching out here, Cancer Energy, to offer healing and apologies and, and this beautiful energy, and it hasn't happened. They're still trying to untangle it. They need to make this decision, I feel, to come and offer this clarity, this truth, this communication, and we see that that's coming, and we see that the Ten of Wands is lightening up here. It's a pretty dark energy, this particular card. It's Sagittarius energy and it's just too much. You know, it's was this was in the upright. At some point we know that. And the Son of Cups was in the upright. Why can't I pick it up? <laughs> and that, of course, was the Knight of Cups. And it was just, I feel like they maybe couldn't handle it. It's, it was overwhelming for this person. So did they lie about what they wanted, what they could do? Were they scared? Were they lying about the fear? Whatever the case is. They're coming here now, realizing that they need to come here. There's the confidence of coming with the truth. Afraid also of bringing the truth. You can see that, but you see the truth here. I mean, look, when the fool was here, when you're taking that chance, look what happened. It's a tower moment here. So there was some obviously some change here and that for me is also connected to being dishonest and you can see the lightning bolts here cut the tree down caused some fire here which you also see here in the two of swords so this is what they're owning this is what they're owning and this is what they're needing to upright here the mother of cups in reverse again that's that's the queen of cups what more do we need to see for Leo today? It's the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay, so, well, that's more of what we know here. Look, this is all connected. This is the past energy because we see here that they are coming with the truth. So this is telling us more of what we already know, that this is somebody who wasn't being honest with you. And they also made some bad decisions, some of which I feel was being careless. For some of you, there was a kind of a not showing up energy. So is that to the connection out of place? Also possibly within a message? Yeah, you can see that too. It's all really very much connected. Look, you also see the Ace of Swords lightning here. Doesn't quite match. They're both in reverse. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. And well, yeah, that's the dishonesty. That's the bad decision. This is somebody too who was, who was kind of mentally blocked. And you see that when this was in the 10, when this 10 of wands, excuse me, was in the upright. We also see that there's a totally new cycle. So this is the end. This is the completion of a cycle and it's a renewal. What is coming through? Well, the truth here. Is it coming in person? Is it coming in a message? It's always, it can change, you know? Everyone has free will. 
energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. The future is not fixed, but we're going to bring in some more to see what we can see here. <laughs> so this isn't surprising. It's the Three of Swords revealing itself. So there's heartbreak around this. We know that already. It's Saturn and Libra energy. For some of you, it might be illegal disconnect, separation, maybe even a divorce, but it's the separation. It's the sadness around it. And look what it is. Not a big surprise. It's the swords. Clarity, transactional, communication, all wound up here. It's a lot like the red thread of fate gone haywire, wrapping it up, tying it. So you almost couldn't even, you, you couldn't even get the truth out if you wanted. You couldn't get out. Boy, I'm feeling this. This is, I'm feeling this. What's going on, Leo? I think you've got some fire under that belly here because I want to just pull them out and I can't. There is a resistance that I'm feeling. I have an energy of that I can't get the swords out for clarity, for truth, for communication. You can see that it's still fresh here. I mean, it's the three of swords. It's that heartbreak. It's the heartbreak energy. Okay, so the six of wands is here. And this for me is the message coming in. And this is your person overcoming those obstacles, which we see that they're, that they are being removed. Some immaturity. Yeah. Some bad decisions. Yes. But we see the truth coming. And this is for me is it's a minor arcana. It's a validation of that. So maybe, but maybe they're going to change their mind, but I see communication coming in between you and well, Leo, this is your energy. It's Jupiter and Leo energy. And Jupiter is not your planet, of course. You're ruled by the sun. This is Pisces and Sagittarius. Also, it's not the card. It's the energy with Jupiter. And that's the planet of expansion. And it's also growth and wisdom. So somebody has, has been going through a bit of a transformation here. It's bringing in some death energy here, some changes, some transformational energy and realizing that they need to be honest with you. The heartbreak and the loss still feels like it's here. And look where the Son of Wands is looking. Looking right at, at the Three of Swords. And it's also connected with the Son of Cups in reverse. So we know already that that was a big reason. That was a big part of what caused this. But we also see it here. And we see that they're making this decision quite literally here in the Justice card, which is the truth coming. And that's a master number. So it's the new beginning to come together. For some of you, maybe it's someone you're even still with. Or, or yeah, I mean, let's see. We need a lot more here. For me, I don't see any big giant reunions. I'm not feeling that. But it can be coming through. I'm feeling a message coming through of them wanting to be honest. And for those of you that are in person, maybe there's going to be an in-person conversation or even a handwritten letter. I do feel the Eight of Wands energy, but we also see that here in the Six of Wands. Okay, so it's turning into a bottoms up for now. The World card is showing us in reverse, and this doesn't surprise me because it's telling me that there have been issues and delays in even getting this truth. So how long has that been going on? There have been obstacles. We see that. It's still made energy doesn't mean we're always life partners, but it is someone that you met for a reason. So whether this is, well, yeah, for some of you seeing this as a lesson, it's not going to be for everybody. But we see that it's not finished. There's, there needs to be something here. And for me, that's some resolution of, of you hearing from your person. Maybe something more will be coming in here. Let's see. This is Saturn energy. Guys, gosh, I don't know when that ended. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss too much. Saturn can slow things down, put obstacles in the way, but we also see that they have overcome them here in the Six of Wands. So I'm keeping this and I'm going to move the energy. the daughter of swords so this is the page of swords so yeah they're holding on to this truth they're keeping an eye they're they're watching things leo so for some of you that are not connected maybe you're not around your person they're there <laughs> i don't know if you've blocked them or if you've blocked them from everything but they're finding a way to kind of to kind of check up i want to say watch they're holding on to that sword so it's almost it, 
it's a little bit of immature energy in the Daughter of Swords. That's page energy. So it's kind of like waiting for the right time. But look, it's the, the owl. And that, well, that's Scorpio energy, by the way. That's also, well, the owl is about inner transformation. It's look where it wanted to be. Self-actualization. Knowing. This is the wisdom that we know that they are coming into. And that's also coming through in the Jupiter energy here. In the Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo, your energy here. So this is this is the knowing that they really need to, to, to tell you the truth now. Because this world card is telling us more of what we already know. That you have not been. These are both yours. You have, I think these are yours too. No? Yeah? Okay. These are yours. It's the last three. Then we're going to bring in another deck. That you have not been communicating and that they haven't really been getting it, you know, until now. Let's hope. These are yours, but I want to look at these first. Okay, so yeah, there's the Strength card, Leo. That's your card. And, okay, so here is the Eight of Wands. It did come. We thought it might. It's in reverse. So that's telling, well, it's Mercury and Sagittarius energy. It's the planet of the mind. It's the planet of communication. It's showing us that by not writing, they're, well, it's like a, it's a self-sabotage energy. There, there, there's some fear here, but there's also some power struggles here. So th these are spinners for me, 100%, because I do feel this message coming through. But this can be telling us that they may even have written, and you've been, there's stuff going back and forth, and you've been waiting. Or they're having trouble writing it, because we also see that here in the Strength card. Of course, that's Leo energy. And it's the sun. You know that. It's the source. And it's in reverse here, that sun, with the, with the Strength card in reverse, which is telling us that it's an, a temporary energy of waiting for this message, whether it's in person or what I feel in an actual message. Oftentimes, Mercury can connect with reading and writing. So you're either waiting for another response or you're still waiting because they're trying to get the courage here. And, it, and there is a little bit of self-sabotage because there's some ego here. And holding on to that ego, the more time they take, the more likely some of you may not be waiting here. Because look what they're holding. It's a rose. What is in that offer? Is it more than an apology? It's for sure the truth. And it's apologetic energy because that three of swords is spinning. They're, they're having a lot of realizations here. They're trying to untangle things. Or is that more? Is that more than just the truth? It's for sure a message. Maybe it's more. Let's see what's going on here. It's the Nine of Swords, and it's coming in reverse. Okay, so this is the healing energy. This is telling us that things are changing, and we're getting closer to that, uprighting that Cancer energy. The Queen of... The, did I say the Queen of Swords? <laughs> the Queen of Cups, excuse me. But the Nine of Swords in reverse. Nine is in number of attainment, fulfillment. And it's things coming to fruition. And you can see here that it's... A healing time now. It's getting some relief. Getting, oh, and I just wanted to show you that too. I wanted to see that. Wait a second. That Eight of Swords here, or Eight of Wands. Well, my brain is just all over the place today. And looking here at the lightning bolt connections. So I do feel that they've been having trouble writing this message or maybe even another message. And I do feel that there is a message coming through here. That's what I feel really more than anything, I have to tell you, Leo. But let's see what's here. We're going to bring in some Oracle as well. And by the way, if you've been following my readings for a while or, or if you're new here, I'll just tell you that the overall energy, it's why, what's why we have our swan here today. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes it comes in the way of tarot. Sometimes it's a love message, an oracle card. Sometimes we just never see it. So in case you're wondering what is going on there, it's the Son of Pentacles. Okay, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. Don't love that energy, but it's also really what we already know here. That's also the Son of Cups here in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse. And now we're seeing here the Son of Pentacles, which is the Knight of Pentacles coming here. So there's humility in this card for me today. This is apologetic energy coming in. Are they making an offer? I don't think this is an offer in what you might be thinking is an offer. You know, this is a 
it's kind of a, it's like waving the flag. Do you know what I mean? It's an apology. Look, this actually in this card too, it's the energy I feel with your person. They're kind of spaced out, a little bit looking down and having some realizations here. This, and look what it's connected to. It's the Nine of Cups in reverse, and that's a lot of what it is. There's kind of a greedy energy here. There's a, a lack of doing the work here, and this is realizing that in the Son of Pentacles. This is wanting to push through those obstacles and come here and bring you the truth. This is really what is coming through here for me. It's really, really very strong. And that lack of wish fulfillment, too, is very strong with, with the... Son of with the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Son of Cups here, because that's also putting that here with the Nine and making that the Ten of Cups in reverse, telling us that you were either in the Ten of Cups or you were working toward it, or it was at least something you discussed, and then that just something happened with that. So that's more of the energy and why I feel there's this humility coming through of realizations and kind of looking downcast a little, a little bit afraid. Knowing that they, ha they, they have to face the music now because this energy, this is a little bit immature, a little bit a lot <laughs> of energy here in the Daughter of, of Pentacles, excuse me, the Daughter of Swords is holding on to that and not quite bringing it. Okay, so I'm going to move the energy here of the Oracle. We're going to look at Oracle today. And we're always shuffled. Potential. So they're telling us there's potential here. Maybe. Do I feel like somebody's coming in with an offer with, you know, hey, let's come back together? I don't feel that, Leo. But I really feel that they're coming in with an apology. And maybe it is bringing flowers. And maybe that is what's happening here. But this still for me is the apology coming through. And maybe this is something for later. Maybe it's putting that Ten of Cups back on the table. Okay, and interestingly enough, the way the Ten of Cups came in reverse, that is also telling me that for some of you, and we know that already, that this might literally be a broken marriage. And they're wanting to honor that. And they're going to come in here and apologize. And, and it's going to be more. It is coming back together. Maybe some of you aren't going to have it. And again, that's not for everybody. But that's, this is what happens in readings. Things like in life, <laughs> they change. You know, everyone has free will, energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. But we can see the reunion energy. So there is an energy of coming together. It's strong for me that it's a message. Maybe this is going to be in person for some of you. And maybe some of you are in this connection that involves seeing your person. That's not going to be for everyone. And for some of you, it's really strong that it's coming back together with with someone you're separated from and coming in literally and bringing flowers. Okay. Interesting, because the lily's coming in in reverse. This is part of its innocence, the lily, and it's in reverse here because they also know, look, that they're, they're not. So what else could have happened here for some of you? Was there a third party? It's not super clear, but that can always come through, and it can be romantic, but it can be other things here, you know, family of origin, location, religious cultural differences, being in their own way, third party. And that's really strong here today too, because we see that in the three of swords, because that's the lack of clarity, lack of trend, lack of transactional energy, truth, communication here. And I really felt the resistance to getting this sword out. Are you going to even let them in? Look, the passage, it's coming here in reverse, the passageway. I feel, okay, those are yours. And I think that might be it. Yeah, that is it. We're going to look at them and we're going to bring in some channeled love messages, Leo. Oh, Leo. Leo. Yeah, this is communication. My gosh, could it be any clearer? Temperant. This is connecting to many things. This is connecting to the strength card. It's uprighted the strength card. It's also bringing in temperance. And of course, that's Sagittarius energy. That's the fiery energy to melt the stagnation, this ice. This is the communication. One, two, three. Divine, divine timing, communication. This is communication. This is ending the no contact. So they're sending, this is wanting to show itself. 
might be kind of slow look it's energetic movement and it's right here below the world card in reverse so we know that and that's almost yeah there's a snake in there too okay so it might not be as fast as you want they're trying to get the courage too we see the strength card is in reverse and it's like the longer they take the more they wreck maybe what if they have a chance even I'll tell you, <laughs> that's the strength card as well and upright. So we know it's spinning. We know they're trying to come. Are you going to let them in here? Because it's the passageway. It's an opening. You know, is there an opening? We see that this fiery energy also. This lion, of course, is connected to you, Leo, and that's fiery energy and it's a temperament, which is connecting to temperance, which is also bringing in Sagittarius energy. And that's Archangel Michael, the angel for protection and the angel for strength. And you know what the strength is? It's showing the way, lighting the path to the truth for the highest and the best good for everyone involved. So this is communication. This is the truth, Leo. Whether, again, it's in person or it's in a message and, and what you're going to do with that because you might be closed off to it. This might be, even for some of you, a knock or a message, you know, <laughs> with flowers. And you're not going to have it. You're going to know. You're going to know. And this is the overall energy. So we, we got an overall energy. I'm hearing that this is it. <laughs> Was not expecting that. But there you go. Literally lighting the way to the truth. The highest and the best path for everyone here. And that was your very first card coming down. And that's ending the no communication. For some of you, that will mean no contact and ending the separation as well. I mean, and it really does in many ways with communication, but it might not be physical for some of you. But we see this ice melting. That's the cold energy. It's the emotions. It's the emotions that have been frozen. It's the lack of communication. It's the lies. It's the lack of clarity. It's a lot of things. But it is, of course, connected to the divine as well. And it's the love and it's the friendships and it's the friendship and it's all been frozen here it's melting this fiery energy is melting it it's just not right the second you see that it's it's a fast energy but we also see this spinning okay leo wow we're going to bring in some channeled love messages leo and then we're going to close your reading what do you want to say to your Leo today? Messages from their higher self, Leo. Take what's for you and let the rest go. It may not be that everything is for you. And if you feel you're sending a message, you're sending a message. You are my destiny. That wanted to show itself. The bottom of the deck. Why do I feel like I just saw a card that didn't belong in here? Maybe it comes back. I am always thinking of you. I have not moved on. I'm lying. Okay. It's a lot of that lying energy here. So, you know, we also, where did we see that again? There was some more energy of that, that they're working on here. In any case, we already know that for what we've been through and for what we can still be, let's give our love one more chance. I feel like that's going to go here with the flowers for some of you. I'm not over you because I don't want to be. Being together with you is all I can see. So that's that's the three of swords. Emotions. I'd start flowing here. And that message, you know me better than anyone. Please take me back. My love for you is unconditional. I'm not asking for a lot. All I want is for you to look into my eyes and say that everything will be okay. Who is sending that? Look, this doesn't belong in here. Is it one? It's just one. Conversations with you were the highlight of my day. My life's biggest mistake was to think that I'll be okay without you. The truth is that I'm not and I never will be. I miss you. So there's some of that truth that we know is coming. Which is really need, needs to be said here. Needs to be had. Is it just here? Maybe. 
I hope that it's coming through in this message, that they're having a hard time writing or they're deleting or unsending. We also see that in the Six of Wands. But remember, it can be coming through here too because they are obviously bringing you messages from their higher self. There's a lot of truth here. That's the reading as well. It's not just the messages. I really want to be with you. This longing for you is intense. Those are the last two, Leo. I have a song playlist about us, about you, us. Musicians here, maybe, maybe not. It's also about the music that they're listening to. And no, I am not over you. Leo, that's your reading today. It's been my honor. It's really a, a feel the fire under the belly here, and we really had a lot of validation with that today, melting that stagnancy here, bringing the truth. I feel opening up communication. Leo, thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's reading, I would really appreciate it if you like the reading, watching and liking readings, sharing them, subscribing to the Tarot Closet really helps my channel continue to grow. So thank you so much. I'm sending you love and light on your journey. And I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Bye, Leo.